Yeah, parks officials are going to be working with the feds, educational groups, historical organizations to try to make this ambitious project a go. Fort Wayne is a really important riverfront asset. It's 83 acres, it's a beautiful site, and it's a place that the people that have been here know to be very special. This gem will need some major renovations with decades of delay and little maintenance. That will cost big bucks that the city will try to raise over the next several months. Fort Wayne was here before Detroit was a city. The history of the site goes back over a thousand years to various Native American communities that use this as a meeting place, a stopping place, and actually our, we have a one Native American burial mound, which is actually the um, last one left. During the 1800s, the site was transformed into the military facility in anticipation of the British invasion from Canada. It's open to visitors during the summer months, but it's surrounded by heavy industry on Detroit's southwest side and attracts crowds with special events like this one in 2016. Some fun with some medieval jousting. The fort will be next to the new Gordie Howe Bridge to Canada that's set to be completed in 2024. The goal is to turn this into a destination nearby. So people will be able to bike and walk across this international bridge. We want those people to come and visit Fort Wayne, and we think Fort Wayne is a tremendous asset for the city of Detroit and for the region. So the request for proposals from partners will be going out here in the next couple of weeks. They hope to have everything together within the next six months. Anyone with questions can get a hold of the Detroit Parks Department. Live downtown, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News.